me feeling like I'm academics. Can't ride no way. We've been having a good time. This hey, season. you think it's a bad thing that baby getting locked up for these gun charges with everything else going on in Atlanta and they want to take down all the gangs? Oh, speaking of which, well, 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 you know, this is Vegas, but let me play the video. So if you guys are on chat, um, Lil Baby got arrested today. Or actually it was yesterday. Baby arrest. He got arrested, and here is the video. I think TMZ had the video. So let me he got arrested for having a, a gun, a concealed carry gun. Um, let's see, little baby. Here we go. Listen, listen to the the uh, video. Hey, hey, come here, come here, hey, come here. Man, them perk 30s a hell of a thing, man. And whippets too. <laughs> what, what type of drug y'all think y'all? Hey, I, I'll, I'll say this. By the way, you know, obviously we're going to get the, the full context of this. <clears throat> but it, why, why it looks like he was alone? He was shouting to, it looked like the security of either a venue, but not his security. He said to the security, hey, yo, security, t call this number for me. And he said, yo, I'll pay you 200000 a year. Basically almost kind of getting trying to get the security to make a call for him that could maybe either get him out of jam or... Maybe it's just a bail person. Regardless, where's his boys at? Where's his homies? Nah, he he Bro, did say that he was alone. He said it was Dolo. It was, by the way, I'm thinking, no fucking yeah. way little baby is alone. Yo, at niggas, that's what I be saying. Like, I don't know why they be, I guess niggas be, don't be wanting to be with their homies all the time, bro. But that shit is not safe. Well, he said he got on a jet. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he probably carried the gun on the jet. But even with the gun, like, bro, you're a baby. People are going to walk up to you. Maybe he was just gambling or something. Now, he, here's, the, here's the real reason why he got locked up, right? So he got locked up for having a concealed carry. You heard him say early in the video, he said, yo, I have a permit. Now, come to find out, he does have a permit. So he actually has, I thought he was a felon. Like, this is the cleanest gangster we've ever seen. I thought, I be thinking every gangster is a convicted felon. He's not. He actually has a concealed carry permit, but it's out of Georgia. Here's the thing. If you guys know anything about concealed carry laws, it's kind of really weird and convoluted as you go from state to state. They have what's called reciprocity laws. So, for example, certain, certain states have treaties between them that say, we'll recognize your legal concealed carry. And by the way, concealed carry means, you know, the, the law in Vegas, I believe, is that you could have a gun, but it has to be seen. It has to be physically seen not tucked in your pants or a backpack right um obviously a lot of people aren't gonna bring a gun that way most establishments are gonna say yo you can't walk you can't walk into a casino with a gun under your hip it's just not gonna happen right um some supermarkets might might even say no we don't want you walking around with a gun on your hip even though it's legal now you can walk around in vegas with the gun on your hip showing and that's legal the moment you tuck in your pants it's now concealed so for concealed carry, many states require a special type of permit. And um, for baby, he got to get the permit. So now he got permit, but it's, it's, in, it's in Georgia. And it, the permit in Georgia, um, apparently it doesn't, it's not, um, it's not recognized in Nevada. And we could even look. 
uh, Nevada CCW reciprocity. CCW is concealed carry permit. And these are the states that it is, um, uh, this is a state it's, it's, um, it, it shares reciprocity with, which is quickly, you know, you can look at that map over there. But if we go to, if we just scroll up to Georgia and just look at Georgia, Georgia is right here, right? So, so this is, if you're in Nevada, this is Nevada gun laws. So in Georgia, it'll, if you click on it, it'll, oh my God. It says yes with restrictions. Let me go to an easier one. States that have reciprocity with Georgia, right? So he has he has a, a, a permit in Georgia. It'll be Nevada, and you're going to see Nevada is absent from here. So Nevada is absent, right? Um, anybody who's, you know, um, a, a true Second Amendment type of person like I am, you usually got to get like two to three of them to be able to carry about most places or most states. Now, even if you carry in most states, certain cities you just can't carry in, period, unless you're a law enforcement officer. Like, for example, um, Philadelphia, they're not issuing CCWs. Um, I, have a, I have a concealed carry for Pennsylvania. I can't bring a gun into Philly. Uh, New York City, you could get a, a, you could get a concealed carry for, from New York, M mainly the outskirts closer up north. New York City. They ain't giving you a concealed carry permit, right? And no matter where the fuck you're coming from, New York is not going to recognize your concealed carry permit, period. So, again, you know, people who, like, bodyguards are going to know this, security guards are going to know this. But also, if you're somebody, which I would hope you're not a guy who's up hundreds of millions and have to carry a gun yourself, but if you are somebody, for whatever reason, that you need to carry a gun, you should know this, depending on what state you live in, right? Um, so, essentially... It, it, it looks like little baby. Um, I don't think he meant to do wrong. I think he thought he was legal, but unfortunately he was not, right? And actually, and truthfully, uh, there is no carry, there is no uh, reciprocity even with California. So even if he went to Cali, he could have got arrested for the same thing. Now, granted, I'm pretty sure baby's still saying right now to this moment because he got all the money for the best lawyers, rather get caught with it than without it. Uh, but I think it was just an honest mistake because people look at Nevada as a state that people could have guns. So you're like, well, if I have a gun in my state, I can have a gun there. Uh, it's just a thing where they just don't recognize Georgia for whatever reason. So it's really just like a, you know, it's a little snafu. But even though I hear that Nevada still takes it serious. So it was a 5,000 bond that he got booked on, if you don't know. So he got locked up. <clears throat> the body came on. This is going to be crazy because he's talking mad shit to them. It's like grab my nuts or whatever. Yeah, he posted five thousand on bail. <clears throat> He's not a felon or anything, but they're probably gonna take it, you know, a little bit serious. I'm pretty sure the there's gonna be some type of program. You know, it's not like he was. This was in commission of a crime, right? So they just they just found him in possession. The mere fact that he has, you know, they're not gonna dismiss it completely. Maybe they have some diversion program. Maybe they could, you know, um, plead it down or something. But I, I don't definitely. I don't think he's gonna do no jail time over this. Truth be told, you know. If this you is, feel like if it was a regular nigga, like if it was a regular, if it was a regular nigga, they'd do jail time. Uh, yeah. I mean, bro, your lawyer is everything, my nigga. Like, you know, your your lawyer is everything. Like, again, I'm pretty sure if, if a regular nigga that can't, it, let's not say regular nigga, a nigga who can't afford a lawyer or afford to fight it. <laughs> no, because that's the truth, right? Because I'm pretty sure what what, what little baby's lawyer is gonna do, he's gonna he's gonna go at many different methods. First of all, why did y'all pull him over to search him? Right? Why if, if he was walking, why did you stop him? What made you pat him down? Now, granted, if it's found on his person, it's kind of hard. To, like if it was found in the car, you know, we've seen young boy be the case where there was a gun in the car, but they're like, how do you know? He put it there or he knew it was there, you know, whatever. Um, or he possessed it because, you know, you know, possession is really nine tenths of the law, but you, you got to have to have possessed it at some point and they can prove that. Uh, there, you know, his lawyer, which is, you know, obviously he got one of the big three out of Atlanta. His lawyer is, here we go. Who's his lawyer? His lawyer did make a statement real quick about it. Uh, what did they say? 
little baby arrest. His lawyer, I think it's Finland he went with. Yeah, Drew Finland, yeah. So you got Drew Finland and da oh, what the fuck, who are these ugly ass things? Oh, Drew Finland and David Chesnoff. Yeah, these are these are guys who usually, you know, um, even though a lot of people say Drew Finland. Not not Finland. Actually, Finland's pretty good. They say Sado is the the plea god. Like this, and that's the reason why Gunnar got that plea, because because he's he's the guy who he'll crack a deal more than fight the case. But Drew Finley is pretty good, so I don't think he's going to jail for this at all. Now, if this was New York City, I said that nigga's going to jail. Yeah, New York City, I would definitely. New York City, they find a good on his hip, he's going to jail, right? Now, here's a, here's a reality and the truth of it. Little baby be rolling with like 55 4 pf niggas. Maybe he's switching that up, and every rapper gets to that point. I was surprised when Dirk finally admitted that he was that to that point. When he's like, "Yo, listen, yeah, I travel light. I don't travel with too many people. I bring my assistant. I bring I bring my stylist. I bring you know my girl, but it's not too many people, right? And um, yeah, they keep it motherfucking light. They keep it light. So may, maybe he switched up. But then, I, if I'm him, I'm still not." Going to Vegas, just me, Dolly. If I feel like I gotta have a gun on myself and you're a little baby, I, I gotta believe that he was gambling somewhere. I gotta believe he was gambling somewhere because he is a gambler. But even then, I, I'm I'm still saying, bro, you're a little baby. Why why would you be alone? It's a little bit odd, right? Kind of odd. They said he was, oh, he was in the encore. Okay, so I, yeah, I think that's what it was. He's gambling. He's gambling. He probably had people there then. Never mind. But yeah, this is outside of a hotel. A hotel slash casino. He's gambling. It's one of them things. He probably got five rooms upstairs. He got people with him. But he goes downstairs by himself to gamble. Got a gun on him in case. Right? Here's the thing. I don't know if somebody sees the gun. Bro, but, but here's the thing with, with like, you know, having a gun or like somebody like Lil Baby. If you're around niggas and commotion happen, police might show up. When you have an illegal gun, you just don't want cops show up, period. Cops show up, and now they start asking you questions, blah, blah, blah. Then you never know. If they, if, if, if they investigate in a fight, they investigate in anything, they might be like, yo, we got to detain you, we got to pat you down. They pat you down, they, they find a gun, it's a gun charge. Because they have legit reason, like, oh, we came here investigating the fight. So, you know, we, we hope it's nothing too crazy. Obviously, you know, Lil Baby's a phenomenal artist, despite whatever we had back and forth. But um, we don't want... No nigga going to jail because he had a gun and he's not using a gun to commit crimes. Like he's probably not probably he's in fear of his life. Me, me personally, chat. Y'all don't know how much like I'm a true gun supporter. I think everybody should get a gun. You feel me? I feel this world would be a nicer place right. where, you know, the nigga you talking to, he might blow your head off. And if you play with him, you might get your head blown off, too. That, hey, just. Me, I'm a I'm I'm a Second Amendment right type of person. When I mean everybody, I don't mean mentally deranged. I don't mean retarded niggas. I don't mean them niggas, bro. Like we talking about, you know? Somebody say he's definitely a felon. No, he's not. If he was a felon, he would have got another charge. A little baby felon. No, he's not. You want to think? Um, you want to think he's a felon, but he's not. You think if he had somebody else with him to, cook, to take the gun, it probably would have been better for him regardless? He shouldn't have been by himself? Well, here's the thing. It's easier if it's in a car because the gun's in the car. The person can just claim it. Hopefully, all they do is just wipe the gun off and be like, yo, well, even if you try to put it on baby, you're going to have to prove that he touched the gun. This guy's taking the charge, right? Now, if you got your fingerprints on the shit, it's fucked. But if, if, if it's what I'm thinking, I think the nigga went downstairs to gamble. He got a bunch of rooms upstairs. He probably got his bitch upstairs. Bro, trust me. When you, when you go to Vegas, because I do it too, nigga. Bro, you get into the gambling mode. Bro, you just go downstairs and gamble, my nigga. Or sometimes you're gambling and, and they go up to the room and like, bro, it's like. Nah, I, they, had, they had tables in the room. They, they had um, they had the gambling tables in the room. Yeah, oh, it was at the win. Yeah, win encore. Okay. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're side inside. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but, but but even then, where the fuck did he get arrested? It seemed like he had to be downstairs alone, bro. It's no way he's in Vegas alone, bro. It's no way, bro. You know, it's no way he's in Vegas. Alone. Nah, he was in Vegas alone. He was. He's with my dog. Remember, you actually know him, Larry. Yeah. 
He's with him. He's with Larry and shit like that. It was all out there for James. James Harden rented the whole Drees the night before. Yeah, like yeah, niggas was just come, like Travis Scott. Travis Scott was basically alone. Like all oh, the niggas, Michael Rubin out there. Everybody, nobody really came with mad niggas. Maybe that's why he had a gun, right? But like, if I if I can't bring all the full P of crash outs, let me um. Yeah, hey, he just came out there real quick. It's supposed to be some quick shit, and they like I said they gambling in James Harden's hotel room. There's like three, four tables there. Everybody was in that bitch. Ty Lil, mad bitches. Why you know, that full P of, that full P of crash out who who was threatening me for baby one time? Well, where where he at? Why he ain't taking charge? Full P of set. Where was you at, nigga? <laughs> This is what this is what we need niggas like you. Nigga, you've been rocking that 4 PF chain till this shit turned green on your neck, nigga. You ain't take one charge yet. That nigga getting locked up. Where you at? You see, this is why I'm telling you, man. You have these niggas around you. All they do is post up pictures with them in front of your black truck. They wearing your chain. They not doing a goddamn thing. Matter of fact, I don't even see 4 PF in his name no more. It just says said. Mm, well, is it because of the... um? That niggas was scared to get that Rico charge. Man, I don't know. But when he was fucking with me, I nigga, feel like I was about to write a passionate like letter with his name on the. Uh, uh, when when he was fucking me, I was about to write a passionate le letter with his name in the headline, nigga. Four P F said a criminal in your district is trying to kill me. I definitely tell the cops a lot to get y'all niggas out of here. Hey, hey, hey! Don't niggas got scared of that Rico charge and them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't been nothing but smiles, man. Yo, yo, that nigga, little baby, look like a realtor, nigga. On on the last fucking t the time I seen him, nigga. No more showing off Glocks and switches, nigga. Hey, there's this cupboard up here. This is so amazing. And right here, we got this marble counter. This is this island. He has this. Yeah, yeah, nigga. That's how you should be talking, nigga. Avoid that Rico at all costs. <laughs> that yeah. Rico was scared, nigga. For real. I've never yeah, look. Hey D, no welcome to my bachelor pad. Yeah, no more welcome to the trap house, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, that should that should straighten that nigga right back up. Hey, hey, you heard about that Floyd? Um, Tiger got caught up in that Floyd Mayweather Rico. Like, what? you know anything about that? What? Yeah. What do you mean Floyd Mayweather Rico? So they're saying that Tiger got caught up in a four million dollar RICO claim against um Floyd Mayweather. You said what? 